a chapter a day to brighten your way. Can non-Christians participate in God's work? Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Isaiah chapter 45. In this chapter, we will be introduced to King Cyrus of Persia, a very special king. Although Cyrus was not from Israel, God still used him to carry out an important plan. God raised up Cyrus, allowing the Persian Empire to gradually grow in strength until it eventually defeated Babylon, the oppressor of Israel, allowing the people of Israel to finally return to their homeland. Let's read chapter 45 together. Isaiah chapter 45 Thus says the Lord who has anointed to Cyrus, whose right hand I have grasped, to subdue nations before him and to loose the belts of kings, to open doors before him that gates may not be closed. I will go before you and level the exalted places. I will break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hordes in secret places, that you may know that it is I, the Lord, the God of Israel, who calls you by your name. For the sake of my servant Jacob and Israel, my chosen, I call you by your name. I name you, though you do not know me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Besides me, there is no God. I equip you, though you do not know me, that people may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make well-being and create calamity. I am the Lord who does all these things. Shower, O heavens, from above, and let the clouds rain down righteousness. Let the earth open, that salvation and righteousness may bear fruit. Let the earth cause them both to sprout. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe to him who strives with him who formed him, a pot among earthen pots. Does the clay say to him who forms it, What are you making? Or, Your work has no handles. Woe to him who says to a father, What are you begetting? Or to a woman, With what are you in labor? Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and the one who formed him. Ask me of things to come. Will you command me concerning my children and the work of my hands? I made the earth and created man on it. It was my hands that stretched out the heavens, and I commanded all their host. I have stirred him up in righteousness, and I will make all his ways level. He shall build my city and set my exiles free, not for price or reward says the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord, The wealth of Egypt and the merchandise of Cush and the Sabaeans, men of stature, shall come over to you and be yours. They shall follow you. They shall come over in chains and bow down to you. They will plead with you, saying, Surely God is in you, and there is no other, no God besides him. Truly you are a God who hides himself, O God of Israel, the Savior. All of them are put to shame and confounded. The makers of idols go in confusion together. But Israel is saved by the Lord with everlasting salvation. You shall not be put to shame or confounded to all eternity. For thus says the Lord, who created the heavens, He is God, who formed the earth and made it. He established it. He did not create it empty. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I did not speak in secret in a land of darkness. I did not say to the offspring of Jacob, Seek me in vain. I, the Lord, speak the truth. I declare what is right. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together, you survivors of the nations. They have no knowledge who carry about their wooden idols and keep on praying to a God that cannot save. Declare and present your case. Let them take counsel together. Who told this long ago? Who declared it of old? Was it not I, the Lord? And there is no other God besides me, a righteous God and a Savior. There is none besides me. Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is no other. By myself I have sworn, from my mouth has gone out in righteousness a word that shall not return. To me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear allegiance. 
Only in the Lord it shall be said of me, our righteousness and strength. To him shall come and be ashamed all who are incensed against him. In the Lord all the offspring of Israel shall be justified and shall glory. Cyrus was the only foreign king in the entire Bible who was personally anointed by God. God gave him the task of saving the people of Israel, and Cyrus did not disappoint God. He released the Israelites unconditionally and even allowed them to rebuild Israel's holy city, Jerusalem. Dear friends, sometimes we unconsciously think that only Christians can be used by God. But the book of Isaiah shows us that the most important thing isn't to limit or discuss who is allowed to do what, but the fact that our sovereign God is always in control. Let's remind each other not to let the established frameworks in our hearts limit God's power and authority. I believe this is also a form of humility and will help us know God more deeply. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, Please remove the established frameworks and ideas in my mind and give me a humble and tender heart so that I may have a deeper understanding of your power and authority. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you and I love you too.